Hi, my name is Melanie and today I'm going to show you how to create a nice weather overview in a few minutes with Medex. So let's start. In our home screen we create a dashboard which we call Medex Examples. And we start as usual with a basic map. So first we want to rename the tab to weather overview. And we want to add the precipitation. So we go to the layer stack and type here precipitation and all the precipitation parameters will show up here. And we choose the amount of precipitation, choose the units in millimeter and the interval of one hour. So now we have the precipitation all over the world in our map. The next layer we want to have are pressure isolines. So we add in a layer, we choose here isolines and type MSL for mean sea level pressure and the parameter immediately shows up. We could also uh, choose another format or choose another unit, but we want to stick with hectopascal and apply it to our map. Here we want to change now the spacing and the upper and lower limits of our ISO lines. So we go here into the settings and define the range here. So we need a minimum, a maximum and a step. And we choose a minimum of 950 hectopascal, a maximum of 1050 hectopascal and a step of 5 hectopascal and get the ranges that we wanted in our plot. Next we want to add the pressure system. So we want to have the L and the H for low and high in the middle of the pressure system. So we add again a layer and we go here to pressure system. We choose again hectopascal so that it aligns with our ISO lines and apply it to the map. And you see that all the highs and lows appear in your map. The last thing we want to change because we don't like the background is the cartographical material. So we just go here and we choose the map tile of basic. So we are done with the first map and we can rename it here. And we call it precip and pressure because it shows the precipitation and pressure. And we want to have it, the title a bit larger and we want to choose a different color. Let's say green. Great. Now we want to add a second plot to our weather over you. Before we do this, we save our work and add in the tab settings a second tab. Choose a map and go back to the layer stack where we can define what we want to have in our second map. So we want to have now wind barbs and pressure and because it's almost the same as here, we can simply copy the layers up here and paste them down here. And we have an exact copy of our first plot. And now we just have to add the wind barbs. So we add layer, choose wind barbs and knots and on 10 meters above ground and apply it to our plot. And now we have the wind barbs in it. And since we want to remove the precipitation, we can either delay it here or we can simply hide it. So again, rename the map. And align the style with the one in the first. Great. Okay, so now let's add a third one. We save our work again and add 
a third tab where we want to have the temperature. So this time we won't copy what we have in the first two because we simply want to have temperature. So we go down to the third map, which you can also see because there is a rectangle around the map that you are in the layer. And we add the temperature, so we only have to type T, temperature appears. We have again chosen a color map because we want to have it on the whole map and we apply the temperature. So now we can go in here and change the parameters here. And we want to have the opacity to 100%. Um, now you have the problem that you won't see any of the country borders or anything again, but you can simply change the cartographical material down here to borders only. And then you have to move the borders above the temperature. If it works. And you see that the borders are now on top of our map. Last step, we again rename the tab and align the title. And now we have a great weather overview. If you are now interested in a specific location, you can simply zoom in. For example, zoom into Switzerland. And you see all the, the precipitation patterns and wind and pressure patterns. And you see the temperature here. If you now want to see how the weather is forecasted for the future, you can choose down here, for example, the forecast in one hour, or you can even make an animation by choosing the start date and the end date. Let's say we want to have the forecast for the whole weekend and choose Sunday evening. And then we can see in a nice animation how the weather is going to be on the weekend.